Jesus is calling us to the new way of understanding his kingdom that demands ready to give up what is now old in us. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Disciples of John are bringing an objection about the fasting of Jesus' disciples. It is important to note that fasting referred to by John's disciples was not one which was commanded by the law. Only one fast was commanded in the Mosaic law, that is on the Day of Atonement. Instead, this fasting was a tradition practiced by the Pharisees and apparently adopted by the disciples of John of fasting two days a week. This was a source of pride among the Pharisees as is seen in Luke's Gospel chapter 18 verses 12 where the Pharisees boast of fasting twice a week in his prayer in the temple. If we see even in the early church this practice of fasting was followed but not in a way Pharisees fasted. But Jesus gives a new meaning to the way of understanding. They held on to their old ways of fasting. But Jesus says, it is not just remaining hungry without eating, but along with this, beginning a new life with a new spirit. This understanding could be brought about from the life of prodigal son, as he was hungry and left alone without anything. Only thing he could do was to return to the father. So does he. Not being arrogant comes back to his father along with his fasting and repentance. This is the understanding that Jesus gives to the disciples. Jesus is calling us to the new way of understanding his kingdom that demands ready to give up what is now old in us. He does not want us to hold rigidly of the past, but like a new wine skins, ready to receive new wine. As in Jeremiah chapter 4 verses 4 we read, Circumcise yourselves to the Lord. Remove the foreskins of your hearts. Erase the rigidity and follow the Lord with all your heart and soul. Disciples of John thought that they were superior to the disciples of Jesus in following the laws. But Jesus turns their minds to the law that is written on their hearts. If we keep fasting and keep our old selves of blaming others or showing off no repentance, then we would be filling new wine in the old wine skins. Let us give up our old selves and put on a new self as in Colossians chapter 3 verses 3 we read, Put to death what is earthly in you, immortality, impurity, passion, evil desire. And in verse 12 he says, Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassion and kindness, lowliness and meekness, and patience. Let us strive to work for this grace. Amen. I